Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Thursday. It's the day after the Dodgers just completely melted down last night. I am still sad about that. 2019, not sad about this though. This is good stuff. 2019 Top Sapphire Baseball, five box, pick your team 24. The last five boxes of that big 40 box case we popped open uh, yesterday, I think it was. So this was the last straggling five boxer right here. On the 10th, thanks everyone. Lee, last spot, Mojo Giants. And there's everyone right there. That's right, Nick. It's it's thir it's Thursday's Friday. Friday's Thursday. Friday Junior. All right, let's open up all the boxes first, and then we'll uh, rip open all the packs. It's a little bit easier that way. A lot of people asked me in the chat earlier today. I mean, people people heads have to roll at the. Dodger Stadium, right? I think so. Andrew Friedman, GM. This is the last year of his contract. Does he get extended? I feel like there were a lot of roster construction issues. You know, was Dave Roberts too caught up in the legacy of Clayton Kershaw and made a bad decision keeping him in? Or was did he just not have any other options because the bullpen was garbage? I don't know. But I think a lot of things that the front office has to think about Dodgers do have a strong young core, good young team, but they've got to figure out how to how to play in the playoffs too. Corey Seager was a little anonymous in the playoffs, so that's got to be that's got to be uh, figured out too. They got to work on that. Just get better prepared mentally. I heard a really good point. Was it on the radio today or ra today or yesterday? Yesterday or today. Uh, heard a good point on the radio that, listen, the, the Nationals have kind of been battle-tested all season long. Dodgers cruised. They were like 20, 19, 20 games ahead of the Diamondbacks by June. But the Nationals had a terrible start to their season. And then they grinded back and they, and they, and they won. And they played better competition in the NL East. Braves, Phillies, even the Mets. So there was some commentary about, hey, Nationals were battle-tested. They knew how to, and and they had a bad bullpen all season long. So they kind of knew how to overcome those obstacles. And, and in a short series against the Dodgers, having to work out. All right. Get the, uh, you don't have to show that again, ESPN. All right. Good luck, everybody. There's Anthony Rendon. It was strong last night. And there's our autograph, Cedric Mullins. That'll be for Josh Reich. No, I'm check that. Sorry, John Gotti and the O's. Uh, J.D. Martinez, orange. And that's for the Red Sox. That'll be for Jeffrey S. and the Bo Sox. Twenty-four out of twenty-five on that one. And nice future stars, Ozzy Albies. Rough, rough, rough game five for the Braves as well. Oh, there's Kershaw's post. I don't know if anyone saw Kershaw's post game. I think it looked like he'd been crying. I think uh, he totally acknowledged like his his postseason woes, but he looked wrecked. Walker Bueller, apparently, who's super close with his family, apparently one of his close aunts had died two days before this start. So that was quite a game for him to grind through as well. Oh, there's Joe Kelly. That's our 
our great bullpen signing. Although he, they shouldn't have rolled him out in the second, but that, again, roster construction. The, uh, there was no one else to go to. Or no one else the manager trusted, I guess. There's Cole Stewart, twins. Eric Jacques with that. Nice Acuna Jr. I think even those go for like 30, 40 bucks a pop. And there's Julio Urias. Four out of five for the Dodgers. Brian Peoples. This could be Walker Bueller, Julio Urias could be your one two punch next year. There you go, my peoples. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. And Josh Reich with the Braves. Yeah, it was pretty brutal, Cody West. Well, we'll see another game five right here in Houston. Are um, are Houston fans nervous because all the home teams lost in horrific fashion in Atlanta? Cardinals put ten runs on the Braves in the first inning. They're Starling Marte for the Pirates. That'll be for Don Rab. Oh, nice. Gold Rush is gone. Cool. We'll add that to the schedule. 22 out of 25. We'll try to get some more, Daniel, that hard court. But Braves got, Braves got mugged. They got hit by a train. They didn't know what happened. They were, they were stunned. And then the Dodgers melted down at home. Braves at home, Dodgers home, now the Astros at home. Facing a fired up Rays team. Sure, Garrett Cole's on the mound. Was the Astros bullpen as strong as they have been in previous years? And we've got Colby Allard, orange autograph for the Braves. Josh Reich with the Braves. Five out of 25. That, that pitch that came off his wrist and into his face, that was a scary moment. There's Victor Robles. We might see him in the CS. I think he was hamstrung by a hamstring. So hopefully we'll see him in the NLCS. And why do I say hopefully? Because if the Nationals get rolled over in the NLCS, I'll be pretty annoyed. It's like, well, you beat the Dodgers. Better win the whole thing now. Four out of ten. So at least I can be like, that goes to Chad and the Phillies. I at least can be like, well, at least we got beat by the team that won the World Series. Nice, Matt. Thank you. All right. Two more boxes to go. We got here. There's Dakota Hudson. 
Cardinals autograph going to John Harshbarger. Matt says I'm a Phillies fan. Matt DeLeo saying I'm a Phillies fan. So our disappointment started early. I hear that I heard that Bryce Harper was getting was getting trolled real hard by Nationals fans. There's Jesse Winker. Two out of twenty-five. I think I think it was the right move to let go of Gabe Kapler, though, Matt. Um, I don't think he was he was a manager for the Dodgers Double A Triple A club, I think, for a little while, and uh, and I don't think that he was that great. Nice Pete Alonso. That's a few hundred bucks right there. Maybe even more. Mets, John Gonzalez, nice one. And that's why Gabe Kapler didn't end up with a job when it was open. That's the job that Dave Roberts took. Nice Pete Alonzo. Um, but yeah, yeah, I agree. He had to go. Matt DeLeo wasn't a fan either. Nice Juan Soto there. And Rick Porcello, purple. Six out of ten for the Red Sox. That'll be for Jeffrey. But yeah, I mean, didn't really get that Dodgers job, which he thought he was, I think he thought he was going to get the Dodgers head coaching job. Didn't get that. Got hired by Philly. I mean, I think... I think the uh, Phillies kind of gave him two solid years, I think. And gave him tons of... Put in tons of money... Right? Gave him Bryce Harper. Gave him JT Real Muto. That's, that's what he was. TJ's right. Kapler was head of player development for the Dodgers. Not a manager. So they gave him a, gave him a lot of pieces and... A lot of weapons, and I don't know if he really kind of got everybody on the same page. Although, pitching was a little, starting pitching was a little weird this year. I think Arietta never quite got out of the gate. Didn't really got any consistency, but Philly should be fine. All right, last box of Sapphire. This is Pick Your Team 24. Yeah, just maybe a new voice in that locker room for the Phillies could be could be the key. Someone said something. I think Mr. Mike's daddy said something happened to Jacob Nix. What happened to Jacob Nix? And there's Ronnie Rodriguez, our final autograph for the Tigers EA with the Tigers. We'll see him in action today. There's Orange Matt Olson, one out of 25. Darren McKenzie with the A's. Garrett Cole will be on the mound tonight. And Christian Stewart at the end. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was five box picking team 24 tops Sapphire Baseball. Let's give away some money. Remember, there is that $50 promo if you bought at least two teams, blah, 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 blah. Sort by column A. Brian got at least two teams. So that's an entry. Chad with an entry. Charles with an entry. Darren with an entry. Elvis with an entry. EA with an entry. John G has six entries, so that's three spots. Some good odds there. Harshbarger got two, that's one. And Sean got at least two teams right there. 
All right, so one spot out of 11 will get $50 of break credit after we randomize it. One and a four, five times, name on top gets it. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. After five times, it's Darren McKenzie, DMAC. There you go. $50 of break credit going your way to jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.